bad, but taking a break to cast some Smash. So we get into game one here on PS2. Makes the best games. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'd imagine this is going to be pretty hard for Outback though. I mean, Sheik has everything that uh, the Belmonts don't like. Super fast mobility, really good edge guarding, really good getting out of the corner. Yeah, but, absolutely. I yeah. think platforms are going to come into play a lot here. Sheik's going to be able to use a lot of those platforms to maneuver around a, a lot of the projectiles that we're seeing. And those with up bees, up B out of shield is a good option for Simon, but if uh, you're whiffing those on stage, it's going to be a ton of damage from Sheik, able to rack up a lot of damage with these combos like we're seeing right now. And this is a little scary, able to make it back to ledge there, but do have to watch out for the bouncing fish off stage. Could definitely lead to, lead to an early stock. Yeah, absolutely. I think Outback's doing a great job. He's playing super slowly right now. Webb using the Sheik mobility to just move around the stage everywhere, but you gotta be careful that up yet a shield is like frame four, I think, so really fast. It looks like Nair is getting a lot of mileage here from Webb. Ooh, okay, Ooh. using the drag down up air into the down smash. Not gonna take the stock, but looks super nice. And trying to use this Nair, probably looking for like a bouncing fish or a tech chase situation in which dead. we could- Yeah, that's that. Yeah. yeah. Catching and the jump there with the needles. Yeah, and Sheik is one of the best edge guarders in the game. You have needles, bouncing fish, you have forward air, you even have the vanish back, and Webb is just not stopping with this momentum. 42 and an edge guard. Able Has to make the holy it... water too. Oh yeah. Able to make it back with the tether, which I think will be super important, especially with like the um the vertical recovery from Simon if um, Outback's able to get in a position off stage where we're able to use that tether like we see there or use the up going straight up. But I think if we're trying to recover at a horizontal angle, Webb's just going to have the lockdown on that, able to use all of the edge guarding tools that you were talking about. I think it's going to be pretty impossible to get back on stage. Absolutely. Oh, and this is an edge guard and this should just be death. Yeah. yeah. Cookie cutter from Webb JP. Just showing he's playing the matchup really well right now. We saw some flubs at the start with like some unsafe aerials, but even then, he just cleaned that up already, too. And Ooh, he is not oh. stopping! That was crispy oh clean! Oh my gosh! It's still going! I know. This guy had a Sheik aficionado for a reason. That was his first time getting hit in like a minute. Yeah. Crazy damage output here from Sheik. It feels like Outback is gonna, like, even if he manages to, like, uh, take a stop, it's so hard to kill Sheik as mm -hmm. Simon. I mean, you have to land a super solid hit. Uh, and she, okay, like there it is at 160. Let's see if Outback can mount something here. I think if anything, he should be trying to gather data for the next game as well. Absolutely. Web. Yeah, I is think this... like the strongest thing that Simon is going to have is he's going to hit harder with single hits, but that doesn't really matter when you're getting comboed a lot by Sheik. And then also he's going to have really good ledge trapping using the, um, the projectiles that we were seeing, and then that fair is going to be really good at covering jumps as well. But it's not going to kill unless you're at like pretty decently high percent. And so far, it seems like Outback's having a really hard time finding these hits. Absolutely, great dash attack in here from Webb. He definitely just wants to clean this up. No needles, bouncing fish, but a mashed trade, and that'll be game one for Webb. But the pretty dominating two stock. That was just like a checkmate situation too. That was rough because you had to air dodge to avoid the bouncing fish, but then Webb was able to just throw out a Nair immediately after because Sheik has such fr fast frame data that there wasn't really anything that Simon could do in that situation. Exactly. It's literally a checkmate there because you can see the Nair just comes out faster than Outback and even hit an option. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like, oh? Okay. Hold Makes on sense. a minute. I don't Honestly... know if Outback has an Incineroar, but I think the character switch makes sense. Yeah, we're gonna see Battlefield here too, which can go either way. I mean, I, watching Incineroars, they actually usually like to just use the platforms for some extra ladders maybe, but Webb is gonna take this all to the bank with already 64%. But it is hard, cause like, if you're not tight on your execution with Sheik, a revenge can come through, but this could be death maybe? No. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think that's the difference between Simon and Incineroar in this, is that they're both very like comboable characters. But Incineroar is going to have more recovery options. Not that it mattered there, but also uh, Revenge is going to be such a game changer. Able to use that uh, neutral B out of a lot of situations either, whereas like 
whenever Simon was getting hit on shield, he had to use um, Uppy out of shield. And if he whiffs that, it's just a free combo. Whereas like that neutral B is lingering for so long that it'll be really good to like cover unsafe hits on shield. But this Nair is going crazy. Oh my Web God. Is not letting him what is going on? <laughs> Web is showing right now that it doesn't matter if your opponent gets revenge, if they just don't get to use it. Yeah, like, exactly. He literally ran out the revenge timer there, which is crazy. And Outback, I mean, it's so hard to hit Sheik. Incineroar is like the slowest character in the game. Oh, this is awful. He just can't get back on stage. Able to use the back throw, but I don't think it's gonna... Oh, it did kill. Okay. Yeah, fresh with rage, I guess. I mean, this is definitely one of those types of matchups where Incineroar can just steal the show instantly, but... Webb is not the type of player to let that happen. He's staying super solid, just playing the edge guards perfectly one after another, and he just has a clean stock lead here, and he just wants to win this game too cleanly. Yeah, we've also seen in the oh uh, previous match too that Webb's really good at covering these horizontal recoveries, and I feel like a lot of the time Outback has to go for these higher recoveries, trying to hit like the uh, the no downward jump. angle. Ooh. Okay, but using the uppy like that should be super helpful if he's able to just like go straight up to the ledge instead of trying to do these recoveries because I think Webb has pretty good timing on these um, down tilts at the ledge. Yeah, this has been just an absolute painful experience for Outback. He like has barely gotten to play the game. Webb here, up air from the ledge, definitely looking for some sort of kill confirm here. Or an edge guard. There's a back air. Can we get another one? Oh, no jump. Yeah, no jump. That stinks. Okay, best of five. It's Yeah, this is top eight, so it'll be best of five. But that... I wonder if we're going to see the Incineroar game three? Probably not. Um, I'm interested to see. I know maybe uh, Belmont's on Battlefield. You get some extra utility with like upbeat to the top platform, maybe. That's just a thought. Okay, switching to Richter. Yeah, I'd imagine... The instant's like a one-time thing. But we're gonna yeah. see Battlefield here, which is a stage that a lot of Belmont players really like. Um, the platforms just give you extra places to land, and they also give you, I mean, obviously, you can upbeat to the top platform. But as we just saw, Webb can use these platforms to do absolutely dastardly things. Oh yeah, I think that it's gonna come into play a lot more for Webb here. Gonna see a lot more like combo potential with these platforms. I think the biggest issue that we're seeing with both Incineroar and both of the Belmonts is their recoveries off stage are just so exploitable. I have to go at a horizontal angle a lot of the time and Sheik in general is just really good at covering that and Webb is not letting them back on the stage. Yeah, okay. really good position of the corner here for Outback, but gets reversaled out and Webb waits for the option that was beautiful, waits again. He can feel the nerves of Outback here, just feeling like he needs to make a play. Mm -hmm. Webb through with the sledge trap with the grenade, the grab to the that back was air. So good. He he's just putting on a masterclass in the matchup right now. It's absolutely crazy to see. Just this sharking, this pressure on the platforms too. Mm -hmm. What's next, though? Yeah, it tries to catch um, hanging on too long there at the ledge with that side B, but that's just death. That's so unfortunate. And the back air is just so active. It's like, it's insane. And oh Webb gosh. now, he's just moving around. He knows he can just wait for the openings to present themselves. Outback has to make the plays. And this is, this is what she can do to you. Like, if you don't have the tools to match her, she can just move around you, combo you to death. Up into that's, the top platform, but yeah, she can I even cover that. But I think that that's like super helpful too, because that's something that we were seeing in the first game. Like he was up being in between the platforms on PS2, and when he whips it, he uh, he would immediately get punished. Whereas I feel like having that mix up with the top platform can come into play and be super helpful. Absolutely, we've already seen the mix up once or twice here. Let's see what Webb's got on this edge guard. Nothing, but gets back to the ledge trap. Good reversal there from Outback. Chilling out, now he's in the super position. What has he got? A bunch of F tilts, but extends into the corner looking for a kill. Let's see if Webb... Oh, goes for a ledge trump there, yeah. but no dice. Let's see a back throw off stage, throwing out that... Um... Oh? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's really hard to deal with. I think that that's going to be like the best situations. And a lot of the times when we're seeing reversals here from Webb, um, a lot of the time Outback's getting hit towards center stage. So I think that like trying to keep that ledge pressure as long as possible is going to be the best bet. Yeah, I mean, Richter, for how average he can be, he is Superman when he's in the corner and he has you with the ledge. Mm -hmm. 
And Outback, to his credit, I mean, despite the troubles of the matchup, has been playing with his win condition very well. He's done so much damage with these F tilts, with these forward airs, whenever Webb has been in the corner. And he's actually made this deficit back up really well. Already 80 on Webb's next stock. Yeah, Webb. struggling to get off this platform. Okay, save his jump. Good job. Throws the cross, but this is a re-grab maybe? Either way, the cross comes in, and he's just doing a really good job of keeping his distance. He's actually using the side platforms for cover, which is a really great adaptation. <laughs> Ooh, I love that recovery there from Webb. Absolutely. Down tilt in. Let's see what Webb's got into the corner this time. Rolls past, and the jab 1-2 into the grab. These players are pulling out so many mix-ups right now. Oh yeah, Webb playing super patient there on the platforms, just waiting for these projectiles to come out, not trying to get confirmed out of, like, cross into whatever Belmont's looking for, but able to use that uh, ledge trump there to take the stock. Sitting at 129, though, so if we see a fair or any of these stray um, projectiles hit him, it could be the end of a stock. Yeah, I love that he just gets up and grabs out of the corner, though. Finally figured out the answer to the vortex that Outback had presented. And now you're at these percents where Sheik can just absolutely blend you. Already 53, maybe an edge guard here. Needles, but no dice. Okay. Yeah, looking for a shield post oh with these bears. It's so scary. Yeah, because you don't want to drop shield, but you also don't want to watch your shield wither away the entire time yeah. either, so. Oh, it's scary yeah. for sure. Good stuff from Outback, though. These F tilts, I mean, if at first you don't succeed, just throw out another one. Has really been the tale of this game. But let's see if Webb can just close this out with a clean 3 0. You know he wants to. He's moving around Battlefield here, looking for his next opening in against Outback. Yeah, playing super patient with these needles, not trying to push too hard to get a stock. I think that um, Outback's been doing a lot better. No way. DI cross up. Yeah. And I think that Outback did such a better job in that last game, though. The adaptations that we were seeing were definitely helping out, and I think the ledge pressure that we were seeing as well. It kind of felt like it, it flip-flopped in that last game, where a lot of the time Outback had Webb at the ledge instead of vice versa. But yeah, Webb able to seal out that with a 3-0. That was just, I mean... I really I love watching it when like a a, a a pilot of a character like shows why a matchup is like a plus two matchup or something like that mm -hmm. was as an credit to Outback for even keeping it as close as he did and it really shows the power of the Belmont's win condition when they can achieve it is just mm -hmm. getting the opponent in the corner but oh my god and okay this Incineroar I'm not sure. <laughs> Honestly, I think that Incineroar would have done fine if we just saw some different recoveries. A lot of the time we're like immediately using our jump off stage, trying to use that high side B or up being super high. And we've seen that Webb is so good at covering those angles. Whereas I think if he would have saved his jump and tried to like up B immediately to the ledge and not given Webb that time to like set up, it might have gone a little bit better. But I think in general, like Incineroar does well in scrapping in those situations. It was just like getting killed off stage over and over and over again. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, I mean, credit to Outback, but Webb, you know, first seed for a reason, and oh, he'll, yeah. be, he'll be moving on to winner's finals to play the winner of Glutamate and Jucane. Okay. Uh, so Glutamate is usually a Wario player, and Jucane is sense. one of our resident Peach players who we have here okay. in 